I really appreciate you joining me today and we've got a lot of news to get through this week and I was very ill last week so I'm going to make up for it definitely. This first story is really interesting. It comes from Greater Manchester Police in the Salford area and the South East neighbourhood team took part in a covert operation where they dressed up as Bob the Builder in order to catch drug dealers in the act. This video footage posted by the police shows the moment that they ambushed a young man while they were pretending to do roadworks. This is part of Operation Sycamore and it is the force-wide operation to tackle violent crime in the local area. Officers arrested two males on suspicion of drug offences, possession of a bladed article and also driving offences. A knife suspected drugs and also money was seized as well. Sergeant Matthew Atherton from GMP South said the arrests were made on the university campus and it is one example of our proactive response to gang related crime in the communities. Fighting drugs and knife crime remains a top priority for the police and to ensure that Salford is safe for everybody that lives and works here. A spokesman for Salford University said like other campuses we have sadly seen an increase in the use of e-motorbikes by gangs involved in criminal activity and also antisocial behaviour. It has caused a lot of concern to the students and wider Salford community and we have a great relationship with the police and we are working with them in order to reduce this. So it's very clear that the university has suffered a lot of issues with antisocial behaviour and drug dealing and they're trying to use the police and intimidate the local drug dealers to prevent them and deter them from coming to the university. But at the same time, you have to take into consideration that drug dealers won't be somewhere where they don't have custom. So in order to be able to prevent drug dealers from coming to the campus, they surely have to focus on the students that study there and their demand potentially for drugs. So really want to hear what people have to say on that story, whether you agree with it or have a different opinion. In some other news coming from Greater Manchester Police, there is a big operation that has been ongoing for several weeks called Operation Avro. And this week, they focused in the Bolton area. A surge of officers conveyed on the town and throughout the day, they issued 44 arrests and recovered £80,000 worth of stolen property and successfully seized large amounts of money as well as suspected Class A drugs used for supply. They also dismantled two cannabis farms and the criminal operation, they said, will affect the gangs in the local area and in the district. Bolton is the latest town to come under Operation Avro, as well as Berry, Rochdale and Oldham in previous months. It forms part of a force-wide initiative to safeguard communities. They started the day in Victoria Square, led by their temporary commander, Chief Superintendent Steph Parker. There was a series of warrants carried out across the area, and this is when they discovered the cannabis farms. Officers disrupted the operations and they said there were some of the largest they'd seen in the local area. It was a big win, they said, for the police dog team as well, after they found a large amount of money that an officer seized it. In total, they had 131 traffic offences that they dealt with on that day and five vehicles were seized on four arrests. The district commander said that Operation Avro has been executing warrants and many people have been arrested. A whole host of community engaging events have taken place with the full support of our partners in the town. And they said they'll continue to do so for as long as is necessary. So please leave your comments on that story below. And also this week as well, Greater Manchester Police Serious and Organised Crime Unit took part in raids across Wigan, Bolton and Bury as part of Operation Byron. One of the force's many investigations into large-scale drug distribution in the Greater Manchester area. As a result of the raids, a total of nine people were arrested on suspicion of conspiracy to supply Class A drugs and eight of them were men and one woman. They ranged in ages from 19 to 51 and they remain in custody for questioning. Detective Inspector Justin Bryant from the Serious Organised Crime Unit said, This was a fantastic result this morning with over £350,000 worth of drugs seized as well as money, mobile phones and drug paraphernalia. Operation Byron was set up in 2021 as part of an ongoing investigation with hours of meticulous work to pinpoint offenders and stop and to gather evidence to shut down drug lines. As part of the investigation, they said they've recovered hundreds of messages from organised crime group members using EncroChat and the encrypted messaging service was exclusively used, they said, by criminals in a bid to evade police. So everybody's aware of Operation Venetic, but it seems that there's some smaller operations that were running alongside it, gathering evidence and convictions in relation to EncroChat. So I really appreciate you joining me for this brief update. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to follow at Scar City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook and check the website for regular updates, scarcitystudios.com. Hello.
My name's Steph Parker and I'm the Acting District Commander for Bolton. By the time you're watching this video, Operation Avro will be in full flow, with warrants being executed, offenders being arrested and a whole host of community engagement events taking place, with the full support of our partners here in Bolton and the wider support of our colleagues across the force. Operation Avro is an opportunity for us to demonstrate our commitment to the people of Bolton. We are listening to your concerns and we are acting on it. Over the next 24 hours, you will see multiple drug and evidence warrants being executed across the town. Speeding and dangerous drivers will be identified and targeted by us and dealt with appropriately. We will also take action on any person using any motor vehicle illegally or in an antisocial manner. Those vehicles will be seized and removed from the streets of Bolton. In summary, we are targeting those individuals that are causing us the most serious harm in our communities. We will get justice for you and the people of Bolton.